So tonight we're going to make potatoes O'Brien, but with, let's call it a remix, you think? Traditional is onion, peppers, bell peppers, and usually some kind of potato. Tonight we're going to use about two pounds of fingerling potatoes. Why? Because I like the color. It gives it a nice mix. We'll set those aside. This is one and a half green bell pepper. This is about five um, scallions or green onions chopped. It's chopped. And this is half of a red onion chopped. Let's go over to the skillet. Why don't you put in the onions straight into the skillet. We're going to turn the skillet on medium high, which is about a six. There are two tablespoons of olive oil already applied to the pan. Go ahead, baby. Make sure you get it all in there. Next, you want to take the red onion, that one, dump that in there. Put it all in there. Okay, good job. Next, you want to take those bell peppers, dump them in there. Get them in there. All right. Here's four cloves of garlic, chopped, minced, to be exact. All right, take that. This is for you. Yeah. Mix it up. Get in there. That's good. All right, this is going to cook for about uh, five to ten minutes until the vegetables will soften. I'm adding one pinch of salt and one pinch of pepper while my daughter does an amazing job mixing that up. All right, so these uh, vegetables have been softened up a little bit. They went for about eight minutes. I'm going to set these aside by pouring them into this bowl. Alright, I'm going to set this back on the medium heat. I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. And then you remember those two pounds of fingerling potatoes that my daughter so conveniently got behind me. Go ahead, put them in. Okay, give them a mix. going to cook for 15 minutes to 20 minutes on, medium, on that medium high, which is a six. A pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. Stirring occasionally. Alright, you can see we've got a nice caramelized look on top of here. They're getting some nice color to them. Time to bring back in the vegetables. All we're doing is reheating the vegetables now and combining everything. Two or three minutes top, still at that medium high heat. So there you have it, homemade potatoes O'Brien. And we'll just plate this up. This makes a perfect side dish. Potatoes O'Brien. You know the drill. Subscribe, share, like, give me comments below. Let me know what you th think of this mix of potatoes O'Brien. Hope to see you soon.